Well, we've done analog tape. Now it's time to do digital. Yes, digital audio tape. This is a Panasonic SV4100, one of the last machines that Panasonic made. And it has a little problem. We're going to take it apart and fix it. These machines, well, the Panasonic machines are probably the best, most serviceable of all of them. You can get them apart. They're made to be repaired. Unfortunately, Panasonic does not make parts for them anymore, so it's pretty much a dinosaur. Digital audio tape originally was a consumer format. <clears throat> Old tapes are like this big, and they were meant to be a digital full bandwidth replacement for cassettes. And they are not compressed, so they actually use full bandwidth just like a CD does. And they record on a little tiny piece of tape <clears throat> that's about the same size as a cassette. It's like a video cassette. It's polished tape, ceramic coated. It was a lot, had a lot going for it. In fact, it's very similar in many regards to videotape, as we will see as we take apart the transport. Probably one of the most common failures of the 4100 DAT machine is tape loading and unloading. We have to remove the cover gently because there's this little sharp thing right there that'll nail you if you're not careful. We put the cover down and it falls on the floor and it makes a noise. This one has a tape stuck in the trans transport. The transport has this little elevator on top of it and a drawer that slides out. Not all that much different from a CD player. In fact, if you've ever taken apart an early 1980s, late 1980s Panasonic CD player, it's very similar in construction and design to this DAT machine. It's a power supply module in the back. The transformer is in the back. One motherboard that runs everything, and then the transport interconnects to the motherboard with a few ribbon cables and one of these flexible PCBs. There's another board underneath, two boards under here, one to control and one to actually amplify the head signal. <clears throat> and since this is a broadcast piece of equipment, it has balance outs. Balance ins and outs and uh, digital ins and outs. This machine was originally designed for the general public in Japan. So, you can find a machine just like this called the SV-10. And the SV-10 has RCA jacks on the back of it, and it's made for playing pre-recorded DAT tapes, which you might still be able to buy in Japan. Now, since we already have a tape in this machine, we have to extricate it, and we have to do so carefully, assuming the tape is a one-of-a-kind valuable tape. There are four screws that secure the transport drawer in place. One here, one way down there, one over here that has this little round with two diodes attached to it, which is actually quite important. And then there's one in the front down here. The Panasonic 4100 also has this flexible ribbon cable that goes across here. Only the 4100 has that, the other ones don't. So what we do is we carefully rock this back and forth a couple of times to pull a little tension off the tape. Then gently pull out the tape transport, push it forward just a little bit to disengage it, and lift it out like that. There is the DAT transport, the drum assembly, it's like a mini video drum, right the supply side, take up side, the capstan is right here, capstan roller is over here, in fact this tape has been ejected. These are the entry and exit guide posts, which get pulled up like that. It's actually a very nice transport, it's very simple, very robust. The transport plate itself is actually cast aluminum, it's not some piece of sheet metal with grooves cut in it, it's cast aluminum. And of course this is the head preamp board back here. The heads are actually built in here, you can see them. We'll do a close-up of the heads in just a second. Since we got the drawer out, now we can take the tape out. We simply throw off that and move that out, and out comes this tape. Weekend Roundup, in service since July 4th, 2008. <laughs> uh, and of course the tape has all but been crunched. This tape has probably been in service too long, so it's, eh, eh, that's where it goes, right in there. The tape transport and drawer, pretty, pretty simple little assembly. There's a little motor here with a belt on it. Occasionally, once in a blue moon, these, these, these gears do warp. Occasionally they need lubrication. But it's a pretty robust and pretty straightforward method of getting the tape in and getting the tape out. The tape head. Well, let's see if we can zoom right in on those tape heads. This is the drum assembly, and it's in two pieces. 
tape heads themselves are actually down here. And you're not going to see them too well from here. But there's a little tiny black thing right there. And that's the tape head. There's one of them. And then there's another one right there. It spins and the tape gets wrapped around this drum and it helically scans the tape. In fact, here is an actual unused drum, a used drum. This is the upper drum assembly which removes from the bottom drum. This one, as you can tell, <clears throat> has lots and lots of polish on it, which means it saw lots and lots of tape pass over it. But these are the two tape heads here. They're about the thickness of maybe my fingernail. One little tiny piece of ferrite is what they are. A little tiny piece of ferrite with a coil on it. There's one here and one there. And they wear on the magnitude of microns. So after these things have had a slight, they're supposed to protrude slightly from here, but after they've had enough wear, they stop functioning, and you have to replace them. This drum assembly used to be available, or was originally supposed to be a replaceable part. In fact, there's the part number right on it. But Panasonic and their infinite wisdom realized that, hey, wait a second, that doesn't make any sense. It makes sense for video, but it doesn't make sense for us. So the entire assembly, upper and lower drum, as you see it right there, held in with a bunch of screws on the bottom, is in fact a replaceable part. Now since this machine had a problem, it ate a tape, the very first thing I do is actually test the transport to make sure that the transport functions work before I do any cleaning or any attempt at aligning it. The alignment tape for this machine costs about $600, and the last thing I want to do is chew up an alignment tape. So to test the loading of the machine, we have to power up the machine, so we plug in power in the back right here. You make sure the drawer is attached because there's a do sensor in the drawer that will not let the machine operate. So we reattach that and leave the drawer outside. And we make sure the drawer opens and closes by pressing the open and close button. And it does. See? Uh, in, out. In, out. Isn't it nice to have fun? We'll leave it out for a second. Next thing we want to do is simulate that a tape is installed. So we cover up these little sensors here. There's one here and one there. What that does is it makes this, these are photo sensors that think, sense when the tape is begun or when it's end, ended. Because there's clear leader at the ending at the beginning. And then there's a little tiny switch down here, three switches actually, right back here behind my finger. And you have to press those. Here they are. You have to press those down and that will simulate the actual cassette being driven home. So, we close the drawer, do that, and those tape, those loaders, yep, should do that. This machine now thinks there's a tape loaded and ready to go. I press the open button and it unloads. And the drawer opens up. Yep, this machine's fine. We can clean it and put it back together. Let's get one more shot of that happening here. We'll just open the closed door, do that, and there go our loading pins. The drum is spinning. That's the capstan roller and it's pulled away from the capstan as if it's in a park position. And supply and take up rollers are driven all the way home. Then we eject it, press the eject button, those go back to their home position, and the tape goes out. And it stops spinning. See, drawers open.